Hello everyone, praise be to God, and welcome back to Freddy Fish and Luther's Maze Madness. Continuing with our game today, we're now on World 7, which is probably the dreariest world in the game. Let's take a look. Wow, Grandma Grouper's kelp seeds are everywhere! Welcome to the Sand Cavern. Very gloomy music, and all right, already we can see there are two new gimmicks. First off, we've got this squid over here. He is the next new enemy of the game, he's kind of the opposite of the crab. He moves left and right very slowly, but he moves up and down really quickly. He's thankfully not quite as annoying as the crab in terms of trapping you, but still don't underestimate him. The other new gimmick are these hinges here. How the hinges work is basically, there's one end of them you can swim into and then they will flip. And they can basically function as a barrier to some ways, but you can swap them. So knowing which way they flip is based on which way they're bolted into the wall. So this one is bolted diagonally, which means it's going to swing from here to here. It's basically going to sw swing in between the hinge that's being bolted to the wall. So for example, we can push that there, and then we, ha we can't swim down now, we have to push it up. Oh boy, this is not good. Actually, no, get back here, crab. Cool, the crab got lost. Excellent. You can also use the hinges to kind of trap enemies. It's kind of funny. Now that squid is being a bit annoying. Also, I have, I have dubbed these squids the what-a-life squids, because when they're chasing you, it sounds like they say what-a-life. If the crab swims over here, I'm going to trap him with the hinge. Yep! <laughs> I love that sound effect. Grab the worm go for extra speed, and let's go! Trap him there. Alright, I really want that bubble. So we're going to have to do some finagling to get it. What we're going to have to do is we're going to have to push this up here. That'll destroy those two. Oh, great. Now we've attracted the squid's attention. Knock that away. Hit that. Hit that. Cool. So now we've created a nice pathway through. I believe we're going to have to take a death here, though, if we want to actually get back to the beginning. Yep. What do I do? That's okay, I have three peanut butter and jellyfish sandwiches. Yes, it's worth it, because I get bubble bath. Alright, now we can push that. These will collide. We get maximum down bubble bath. And a bubble. Oh, bother. Open for me, kelp gate. But now we'll go into the next level with the bubble. Wow, Grandma Grouper's kelp seeds are everywhere! I guess this music isn't too bad, it's just kind of gloomy. Bow before my, the might of Bubble Freddy. Wow. Did not even phase the crab, he just bolted right into me. Oh, yes, please. Alright. That's good. Alright. I want to go up to that whirlpool, push the boulder to the left so it'll destroy that fishbone. Oh, the bubble disappeared already? Are you serious? Alright, now I'm going to push this boulder down. That'll destroy that. Then I'm going to push this to the right. Excellent. That'll give me a starfish, which I will probably need for the other room if I want to get something nice. Uh, I should have not... To quote Hagrid, I should not have done that. I should not have died to get the bubble, because I forgot the bubble only lasts for like 40 seconds. So it's a powerful item, it just doesn't last very long. Oh, 
Hello, Mr. Squid. Yes, an extra life. Exactly what I needed. Alright, um... Yeah, it doesn't matter which way I push that. I do not want to push that hinge, though. If I do that, I'm gonna screw myself out. Well, actually, no, I wouldn't. Woohoo! I'm not going for that whirlpool, though, because the shark is waiting for me. Yeah, come on over here, Spongehead. Oh, the squid is gonna guard the exit. Ain't that nice of him. And the shark, too! Great! Alright, I gotta lure the shark away first off. Because otherwise he's just gonna keep pushing the squid. This is bad. Actually, that's great! I've kind of trapped the shark in the labyrinth of sorts. And I can just use a bubble to get past the... squid up here. Come on down! Oh, hi. Um, guess I'll use that, too. Cool, level three of the sand cavern. This maze is amazing! We'll see, Freddy. I'll be the judge of that. Alright, well, I gotta grab this pearl bag first, because if I push the hinge from the other way, I literally won't be able to get the pearls. And one had to go over the wall. They, the way they go is random, so that's kind of obnoxious. I already see what I have to do here. I'm gonna push the hinge there, so that way I can push this red rock and blow stuff up. Hopefully I can get past them. Yeah, I saw that coming. Oh no! That was evil. So here we gotta do some work with the hinges to kind of get a safe way for these anglerfish, if we don't want to use our bubble bath. Hi! What a life! the way the squid looks when you hit it with something. I don't like this. I don't like this. Well, I used far more bubbles in that room than I wanted to. Yeah, if I'd hit that hinge earlier, I would have been out of luck as far as the pearl bag goes. That crab knows. Nope, I don't want to get that last sea urchin, sea urchin. I don't want to get that last kelp seed just yet. Yep, because if I had, the level would be over. Alright. So for this, this is going to be tough. Because depending on which way we push these hinges, we're going to be locked out of some good stuff. So if I go up from here, I will be locked out of the bubble bath, so I'm not going up. Which means how to, I can't push it that way, so I have to push it this way. Er, hang on. If I do that, it's going to go up there, then I can push that up there. Go up here and around. This might be you can't get everything in the room. It might be you have to pick and choose what you want. I'm trying to figure out how to get to the center, basically. It 
So I can get the bubble bath or I can get something that's in there. There's nothing really in there besides the seashell, so you can't get everything. So what I'm instead going to do is go... I don't like it when the designers are like, oh, you can't get everything, you gotta pick and choose what you want. I'm like, no, I want it all. So yeah, I can't get any of the shells up there, but that's okay. I'd rather have a refill on my bubble bath. Uh, no, I'm not going out of my way to get those bonus fans in that room. Wow, Grandma Grouper's kelpies are everywhere! I like how there are seahorses that are the blowers in this world. Alright. I can get that bubble if I do some smart stuff. Also, you can see this pebble over here. That's slightly different from the rest of these, as soon as it hits, like... If it hits one fish bone, it gets blown up. Um, hi... What do I have to deal with you guys? Squid, don't you have something else you should be doing? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Okay, good, 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 good. So watch what happens with the pebble. When I hit that first fish bone, it just it blew up with the other thing. Oh, hang on. Nope. Before I do that, hitting that hinge to make sure I get the bubble. Work smarter, not harder. You can still work hard, but make sure you work smart. Also, make sure that the boulder hits the fishbone before you leave the room. Because if you don't do that, then you're just out of luck. Alright. Purple seed shouldn't go through here. So that's pushing me out of the way. That's nice. Squids are bouncing off each other, and I don't like it. Nope. Nope! Darn it! Take that. That's the power of the red rocks. Not the red socks, the red rocks. That sounds like the Flintstones knockoff of the Boston Red Sox. The, the Bedrock Red Rocks. Great baseball team. I can't go back. Okay, having the bubble and the worm jiggle at the same time is gonna be awesome. So I can't get the bullet, but that's okay. I'm gonna hurry up, get these kelp seeds, and we can move on to the last level of the sand cavern. Time to get all those kelp seeds! I don't remember this level very well. This is the bonus. This is the last level of the world that I remember the least out of all of the others. Alright. I try to avoid pushing hinges if at all possible. I want to get that sand dollar though. <laughs> In your face. Leaving that kelp seed behind, that'll be the last one I get. Alright, 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 alright. This one looks like it'll be a backtracking level. Fun. Not. It's a good thing I picked up the bubble at the end of the last level. Actually, yes. Well, sure, that could happen as well. Yeah, why not? Thank 
<laughs> wow, that was nice of you. Thank you. Darn it, I thought I pushed enter. Take that. Well, we've got this dumb orange gate here. We've got to wait for that to open. That'll destroy the fish mode. And we can get out of here. Yeah, from now on, I'm using control to shoot the bubbles, not enter. Did I miss something in this room? Because... Alright, well, the scepter has to appear in one of these rooms. Maybe it's the first one. No, don't run out. I need you. Maybe it's in one of these rooms. Oh, come on. Of all the places I could have spawned, it had to be there. Well, I have no idea where the scepter is going to spawn, so that's fun. I get, to, I get to look for it, and I'm also on my last life. What a life indeed. It's not in the next room, is it? I hope not. It's totally in the next room. Doggone it. <laughs> the crab is just trapped now. That's wonderful. I love that so much. Yep, there it is. Ah, darn it. I must have swam on a spot that makes the scepter disappear. Alright, so instead of taking the short way around this cycle, I have to take the long way around the cycle, I guess. Just hope I can make it out of here alive after the bonus room. Oh, this looks complicated. This is one where, like, oh, did they spawn far away? Well, you can't get to them in time. I like my bonus room small. Disappointed by the fact that I haven't gotten many ducks recently. Well, hopefully this will boost up my score a decent bit. You are mine, duck. No, you're not. Ducks are just taunting me, they're like, oh, I'm spawning far away. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> Alright, well, it was fun while it lasted. Come on, let's go. Alright. I'm not going into any whirlpools if I don't know where they're gonna end up. Away, squid. He's trying to kill me. No, 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 no! 
Why? I guess that, was my last that stupid squid would not anything. leave the portal alone. Well, great. Well, you know what? I don't even care about the bonus room on this level anymore. I've already shown it off. He literally changed directions while he was swimming in one direction as soon as I entered the portal just to make sure I would get hit. Oh look, he's doing it again! That son of a gun. He would just not leave that portal alone. Dog on it. Well, you know what? Well, it might be for the best because next world is really tough, and I'm going to need more than one life. I also like how you can buffer your turns in this. If I push down now, it makes me swim that way. As if you push a direction, but if you push an arrow that indicates change direction and you physically can't change direction because there's a rock in the way, it'll wait until you actually can change that direction before you, it'll let you do it. It's re really nice, so you can buffer movements really well. Want that worm doodle? I really want that worm doodle. Worm doodles are so nice, and it will help me out immensely in the next world. All right, come on, kelp gate, open up! <laughs> that, wow, that kelp gate sucks. It opens for like a frame, and now I'm out of bubble bath. This day just couldn't get worse on the, under the sea in the sand cavern. <laughs> Alright. Dog? No! It would not let me turn. Oh wow, and he just devoured my sandwich instantaneously. Wow, the crab was not chasing after me. Don't be surprised. Alright. We're gonna deal with you first. No, come back here. <laughs> All right, you next. Get over here. No, get over here. Oh, this shark is dumb. <laughs> oh, what the crap is? <laughs> the crab escaped. What the heck? I just want a worm doodle. Get back here. Get back here. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Well, okay, you know what? Fine. You guys are stuck. If I can't get the worm doodle with this, I don't know what's going to let me get the worm doodle. Alright, good grief. There. That's the end of the sand cavern. That's probably my least favorite world in the whole game. But the last three worlds are going to be awesome. So thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Colorful Arty. Tune in next time to see some pretty oh, sweet worlds. Until we meet again, have a great day, and God bless.